Welcome back to Webwise. In this video, we'll discuss the differences between website and web application. What is a web application? A web application is a computer application developed for the internet that allows users to enter, receive, and manage data through interaction. These applications usually have a close connection with the server, sending and processing many requests to it, and may be embedded in web pages or be web pages themselves. The main features of web applications include the ability to interact with applications, change and correct data, use tasks for authentication, exchange short messages on the platform, use social networks, instant messengers, or chatbots for dialogues, and embed applications in web pages. Using web applications is convenient and exciting because they also have various gaming and entertainment elements. These programs adapt to the tastes of consumers, offering exactly what they are interested in. There are two basic types of web applications, single page and multi-page. SPA. These programs are characterized by high speed. All information is on one page, with the possibility of dynamic loading. MPA. MPAs are different from SPAs as they have multiple pages and may need a full page reload. While not as responsive as SPAs, MPAs have the advantage of being SEO-friendly and easier to navigate. Additionally, they can utilize existing web technologies, making development and maintenance easier. Examples of interactive applications created specifically for use on the internet include Facebook, Gmail, YouTube, eBay, Twitter, and Amazon. What is a website? A website is a resource that provides informational value. It consists of separate online pages connected by links and transitions, as well as other elements such as audio, video, drawings, graphics, and animations. Programmers identify the following basic features of websites. Simple and understandable architecture developed with HTML. No significant interaction with additional programs on the internet is needed. User capabilities are limited to basic functions such as registration, personal account, subscriptions, etc. Websites serve as platforms to provide content to visitors, which may include text, images, music, podcasts, etc. Websites do not provide much interactivity with the interface. Users cannot post their information except by filling out subscription forms. Depending on the purpose and design of the website, Web designers often use different layouts and templates to achieve the ultimate look and functionality. Depending on that, different types of websites are possible. Online journals. The magazine's website offers informative and instructive articles, photos, and videos. Blogs. The blog contains posts, images, and videos that are updated frequently. E-commerce. An e-commerce site is a place where customers can shop online and purchase goods or services from personal business websites. Portfolio website. Personal portfolios are an excellent way for artists, designers, writers, etc. to show and discuss their work. Landing. The homepage of various websites acts as the basic core and the face of the business. Here are some examples of business websites, Traker, Soundstripe, Gumption, Strala, any shop you find on the web, Google, Bing, etc. Website development versus web application development, what to choose. When deciding between a website and a web application, it's essential to consider the specific needs of the project. Websites are best for providing information and are typically less expensive to develop. They have a straightforward architecture and do not require significant interaction with other programs on the internet. Web apps, on the other hand, allow for more user interactivity and offer features like push notifications, gaming, and entertainment. They can also work without internet access and provide automatic software updates. However, they may require installation or loading before use and may operate at a slower speed than locally hosted applications. When choosing between the two, it's important to consider factors such as desired functionality, target audience, and budget. That's all. If you found this information helpful, please remember to like and subscribe to stay current with our latest videos. Thank you for tuning in.